Hello friends, this video on structure of atom part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Let's study in D. Uh, the first thing I told about the Dalton atomic theory. In 1888, 1808, he told that matter consists of indivisible atoms. He told atoms cannot be divided. Just aligning with the Democritus philosophy that atoms are uncuttable. This guy too, that matter consists of indivisible atoms, right? And then he told that all the atoms has a given property. Property in the sense they have same mass because this guy is talking about the mass only. Please note till now in 18, no, 1808, electron, proton and neutrons were not discovered. They were not discovered. The only thing the new was or this guy proposed was there is something called atom which is not divisible and he generally used to measure atom by mass and this mass used to come from stoichiometry because that time this was what you call chemistry. Chemistry was nothing but chemical reactions. People used to or chemists used to do a lot of reactions and they used to find the mass of product, mass of reaction and with that they, they came to the conclusion that this guy atomic mass is this, this guy's atomic mass is this. So atomic mass was the only thing uh, that was known to chemists at that time. And that's why if you see, he's talking only about mass, right? So he's telling and the properties, which is nothing but the chemical reactions. So, so if you see here, what Dalton told in 1808 was that matter consists of indivisible atoms and these atoms has identical properties, including mass identical chemical properties and the mass. So if you take any example, if you take iron, all the atoms in the iron will have similar properties and similar mass. If you take gold, all the atoms in the gold will have similar property and similar mass. This is what Dalton proposed in 1808 and this was correct. I'll say this is also incorrect today because we'll see that uh, chemists or scientists have found that atoms are divisible. but this is still correct. Compounds are formed when atoms of two different elements combine in fixed ratio. This is correct today also. So if you take two different elements, for example, you take hydrogen and oxygen, you combine this ratio, two hydrogen and oxygen, you get water. So there's a compound that you get when atoms of two different elements combine in fixed ratio. So all these was part of Dalton atomic theory in 1808. Chemical reaction involves reorganization of atoms these are neither created nor destroyed in chemical reaction. This is also correct. So if you see in any chemical reaction, we see the atoms are reorganized. They don't, they're not created nor destroyed. So if you see Dalton gave a theory in 1808 and out of four, three were correct, right? And the best part of Dalton atomic theory was this theory was able to explain the law of conservation of mass. This theory was able to explain the law of constant to composition and also law of multiple proportions. So we have studied all this in the past class, class 10. So if you're not, please watch the class 10 video once again to clear your concepts of all these three laws. But there was an issue with Dalton atomic theory. What was the issue? The issue was people found that when you take, for example, calm and then you rub this with something, this get attracted. That means some charge comes here, right? Some charge comes here when you rub. Also, if you take this star and the balloon, if you rub, if you rub like this, then if you see, it gets charged, it gets some charge, it gets some positive charge. Now the question was, from where you're getting the charge, right? From where, because we were able to generate electricity also that time. This is something in the 1800 era only. People observe that when you rub something, you get charged, right? Something gets attracted. From where the charge comes, when this guy is telling that atom is something which is indivisible and doesn't have any charge, from where the charge is coming? Now, the Dalton was speechless. He, was, he didn't have any answer, right? And that was one of the limitations of Dalton atomic theory. Also, since there was a charge, this led scientific community to think, scientists to think, from where this charge is coming? And they thought a lot and then with the experiments, they found subatomic particles. Subatomic particles, nothing but electron, proton, and neutron, right? 
these particles were found. And thus, if you see, Dalton atomic theory never talked about these particles. In fact, he told that atom is not divisible. But if you see, what we found was atom can be broken into electron, proton, and neutron. And now if you see, electron can other be further be broken, and proton can further be broken. But we will not talk about those things, but just understand that Dalton told atom cannot be broken, but later uh, scientists found that this can be broken. This is the only flaw in the Dalton atomic theory, else theory was perfectly fine. And that's why we still honor Dalton and we understand or we learn the Dalton atomic theory. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.